Hey guys, what's good? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video blog. So somebody asked me to expand on why I thought designing in a browser was a bad idea. Uh, I talked about this in video I did a couple videos ago. Um, designing in a browser, if you don't know what that is, basically designing in a browser, and, and I understand the process because I'm from that line of work. Designing in a browser typically, typically are done by folks like me who you can code, design, and you're very impatient. Because designing in a browser is where you start, you actually have an idea for a site and you just want to start coding it, right? And you want to make changes within the browser as you go, as your, as your design, as your coding. So you might, you have an idea for a site, you just start, you, you, you start building your nav bar, you're adding your links, you're adding, your, you're building, you're coding your CSS and you're doing that as you're designing your site and your pages. And what that does, it move, it speeds the process along. It allows you to not have to design, then code, and also a lot of folks like that are very impatient. You're like me. You just want to get stuff up and out, get stuff out there. But I don't think this is a good idea. And and I'm and when I say it's it's not a good idea, I'm speaking from the standpoint of a UI UX designer um, for several reasons. One. True value doesn't come quick, okay? And 99.9% .9 of everything that I see when somebody designs in a browser, it looks very templatized, okay? Why, why is that? Now, I'll touch on that in a second. It looks very templatized. It's quick, it, it's up there, but it's missing a lot of things, okay? True value, in my opinion, takes time. Okay, whenever I see somebody, does, when I, whenever I see a site that is, that it just looks, ooh, it just hits the subconscious, you're like, something about this site is tight. That site, I, I would put, bet my house on it, that site wasn't designed in a browser. Okay, but sites that, you know, sites that come quick, things that come quick, looks very cookie cutter, looks very template. You know, you go to Squarespace, you get a site up right away, your site will look like a template. Okay, but you take time to design a custom site, a custom design, it, it, in my opinion, nine times out of 10 comes out a lot better. And I'm proof of that because I fall into that trap of designing before I finish, or coding before I finish designing, and I always say my site didn't look as good as what I thought it should be. So, my first thing is just, if you wanna get really quality value out of your site, take your time and design it first. The thing is, when you're designing in a browser, you end up settling for certain positioning without actually designing it the way you want it to be. So for example, you might design a nav bar or a container, and you might want to position that container by adding some margin or whatnot, but the margin now screws up your other containers, right? And so what happens is you end up saying, screw that, I'm just gonna leave it the way it was. You know, because it was compatible against all my browsers and whatnot, and I don't want to deal with all the mess. And so you're impatient, and so you just leave it. And basically, you end up settling for your elements being positioned based on how the code dictates. Okay, rather than you in Photoshop or in Sketch or in Fireworks or whatever, positioning that nav that nav bar the way it should be, the way you you intended it to be. You end up settling for things also when you're designing in a browser you end up missing the minor design quality details so you might design you might think in your head I need three containers right so you add your container and I want some icons or whatnot to go into this container so you grab some icons or whatnot and you throw these icons in there but when you're if you do that you end up settling just for that particular design, you're not, you may miss a lot of things. For example, I was designing, I'm designing my site right now, I'm redesigning my site. And so I'm designing it in Photoshop and I was looking at some other sites, some inspirational sites, and this one site just kept, just, just kept, you know, like, um, just speaking to me, not necessarily, it wasn't like, ooh, it was just something subtle, sub, something subconscious about this site that engaged me from a design quality standpoint. 
and I that's what I look for in a lot of sites and that 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 happens in the in the research process and so when I'm when I dig down deep into it it's something to do with the icons or how the icons were designed around this little container this element and all these little design qualities that happens a lot and I think when you start designing in a browser you miss those points you end up saying like for me I can go into my Photoshop and I could tweak things the way I want I can tweak my font type I can I can um, you know add the proper drop shadow I can you know maneuver this maneuver that and I could shift things along whereas if I was designing in a browser and I've already coded most of my stuff I'm not going to to mess around and, and move those things along you know if I miss the drop shadow and I can't get it in there with the code or whatnot screw it I end up leaving it the way it is I settle when you're designing in a browser you settle when you're designing and you're taking your time you're planning things out and you're sketching you you know you have you have you have all that in Photoshop or sketch or whatnot you have time to maneuver that stuff you have time to have different pages you can start over without having to you know you can move things around you don't have to settle in my opinion and that comes in the design process the design process should be well thought out there's a lot that goes on in a design process you know the design process includes UX design as well you know you're you're brainstorming you're you're getting all your ideas out on paper you're sketching out you know different flows how you want to engage the user when they come into your site you know do you you know and this happens when you're designing you're stepping back you're looking at stuff is my site engaging enough maybe I need to move maybe I need to bring my call to action you know my opt-in box up a little bit maybe I need to move it to the right to the corner here you know all those things happens in the design process you know a lot of people like to sketch I like to get my ideas on paper um, I like to sketch I also like to brain dump you know just write out just ideas just words that come to me autumn paper I like to also sketch within the brow or within the uh, like Photoshop or whatnot I call it sketching it might look like a high fidelity mock-up but to me it's actually not finished at all and I just move things around move things around move things around I'm always moving elements and stuff like that and so in my opinion I learned this when I was at Yahoo I was I did a lot of designers they would show me like 12 12 like printed out completed mock-ups right on the board and I was always a person to just I start mocking up something halfway through I start coding it and the site never ends up the way I want okay but when I look at other designers and stuff like that like on dribble and when I was at Yahoo they were like they had they completed everything from top down to the copyright material and I was like dang I okay and, and the most of the time their stuff looks better than mine because I'm impatient I start halfway I got this idea and I start coding it whereas I feel a lot of the work that I think that's quality that comes out better than mine's and stuff that you will feel more satisfied with I don't think you should go like you know complete 90% and then start coding I think you should do 100% top to bottom pixel perfect have your your design signed off and then use those designs as a reference point so when to when you start coding okay and also that's going to speed the coding process along faster you have a signed off mock-up that you can reference and you just moves it moves along a lot quicker sort of like painting you ever paint inside of your house your walls a lot of times we just want to paint without prepping you know but if you prep and you put down the blue tape around the windows the painting process is a lot faster you don't have to stop when you get to the edges and then when you pull off that prep tape everything looks sharp you know me I have a history of not prepping and guess what end up screwing stuff up yeah the, the majority of the wall gets painted but around the edges it doesn't look as as nice and quality as it should be so that's my my, my take on designing in a browser and the design process in general if you learn, want to learn more about my design process check out my site at mlfco.com thanks for commenting liking and subscribing to my youtube channel and look out for more videos. We'll talk soon. Peace.